Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI training, I'm going to be following up on my Autogen videos. This specific video, I'm going to be walking you step by step through setting up Autogen Studio and we use a command prompt here. So I basically just downloaded Anaconda. So I'm going to walk you through that entire process in the next part of this video. This is what the user interface looks like right here once you actually have your URL. And you'll get that once you download and extract the Autogen Studio package. So at the very beginning here, and you'll see that basically I had to put in Conda Create. And I'll walk you through that in the next part of this video. I basically show you how to set it up from start to finish. Like say right here is the stuff that's in progress. So if you click on any one of these, like for example, this one where it says test suite roadmap for Autogen Studio, integrate open source LLMs into Autogen. If you click on this, you get sort of a discussion like a thread of other people that's kind of going through this and the development uh, and what's the progress of Autogen Studio in integrating op open source LLMs. So you can use Light LLM as a proxy server and then you can also download Olama. Now I believe that those two are the only way that you can use set up local open source LLMs with Autogen on the command prop. I didn't quite get there yet but I want to point you in the right direction and that does work with Autogen 2.0. Now I haven't tested LM Studio to see if that works, but from everything that I've been reading in the threads, as well as this specific discussion board right here, as well as the threads right here on Reddit, based off of everything I've been reading, rather than LM Studio, I see more people recommend Olama and LLM Lite. So I'll go ahead and try that myself and I'll keep you updated on my progress with that in future videos. So I just want to make these quick disclaimers here as far as where you can go to get more information with frequently asked questions and common bugs. I'll also have Reddit in the description as well as the tools and the resources below pinned by the affiliate marketing server. Right? That way you can see what everyone else is going through. And I encourage you to join this community too. That way, if you have any issues, you can come in here, basically post your issue, see who else is going through it. This place among others is where I find a lot of information. You run into a lot of issues that people are having, bugs and common errors and problems and just challenges that folks run into. Like for an example, I ran into a lot of different error meshes in the beginning when I was setting up Autogen yesterday, not Autogen, but Autogen Studio. And I ended up working through that. And the way I did it is just by basically coming to not only just Reddit, but also like the frequently asked questions here on Microsoft.github.io. Like for an example right here, it says, can I use non-open AI models? And they say, absolutely. You can do that by checking this blog here and they walk you through that process. So I'll be sure to leave this in the description. But in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step on setting up Autogen Studio, which is a user interface for basically the local framework of Autogen. So when you set up your actual command prompt and you get your servers running, and I'll leave this in the description as well. If you scroll down and you click on samples, and then from here, click on Autogen Studio. This is actually the best place where you can go to get sort of the capabilities and the roadmap. That's supported by the app front end so this is where i kind of went to get some information there's different ways to install it in the next part of the video i'll show you how to do it with the command prompt but you can install it from source and a lot of people do that with linux so be sure to check this out and go through this they have frequently asked questions at the bottom and a lot of the issues that are, are being resolved as far as like the bugs and stuff like that and you just got to keep in mind this is a new project and just like with every new project there's going to be bugs and stuff that the developer is going to have to work out but it continues to progressively get better it is laggy with the local models so just keep in mind that as you're deploying open source language models it gets faster in time there's a lot of different robust agents that are available in the autogen framework that you can't quite use with autogen studio just yet so maybe more so just use it as an interface where you can monitor your models and your agents and your workflows rather than kind of using it as like a role-based experience. And in the meantime, just use the Autogen framework at the code level until this allows it to have more accessibility with the agents that are provided in the Autogen build. So the theory is that Autogen Studio is going to, in the future, more so be compatible 
and mostly utilized with Assistant API. Assistant API is really important. It's worth considering how it's going to work with Autogen. So that's just something I wanted to throw out there. Another thing that I want to say is that Autogen released an update that allows agents to execute code to do it with a side container. So that way, if they make code that screws things up, it won't take the computer that the environment's on. But you can use this web UI here alongside with the basic code level Autogen framework to demonstrate the standard defaults that go with Autogen Studio, as well as monitoring the agents, models, and workflows. And be sure to come here to this roadmap here to keep up to date with everything that's going on with Autogen. And you can also go to their GitHub repository. I'll have this website right here in the description, microsoft.github.io slash Autogen. And you just come here, click on getting started and it'll walk you through the entire process. It takes you to this page. And again, at the very bottom, if you click on roadmap, you can keep up to date with everything that's going on with the development of Autogen. And you'll see everything that's in progress right here, what's been completed as well as the to-do. So once you have Anaconda installed, what you can do is you can pull up a command prompt and you can either spin up a fresh container or you can use VS code and run the container locally, or you can just pull up a command prompt. And that's what I did. I just pulled up a command prompt from Anaconda. And what I put is I type in conda create hyphen n a g for autogen and Python equals 3.11. And then what it did was it went ahead and collected the package, the metadata, solves the environment. It goes ahead and goes through the process. It downloads the packages. And then it says that the following new packages will be installed. So you got Python setup tools and all the stuff in here. So all you really got to do from here is just click on enter. And it's downloading and extracting the packages like so. And on the right hand side, it tells you the progress of the download, preparing transactions, done executing transaction. So right here is just downloading and extracting the packages. I'm going to let this process finish. So from here, once that's finished to activate the environment, we basically just copy and paste this. So I'm going to highlight this like so now make sure you just only get this part and not the dollar sign right here, because if you do, it's going to tell you that it doesn't recognize that variable, that internal or external command there. So. Just paste it in like so, and then click on enter. And you'll know if it's activated if you see AG Autogen in parentheses like so. So now what we need to do is we need to type in pip install Autogen Studio. And this is going to download it to the environment that we just created. So from here, we just click enter. And just keep in mind, if you make any changes to that environment, it's not going to be available there. So right now it's going to download not only just Autogen Studio, but everything that comes with Autogen, as well as the user interface. So now that we have Autogen Studio installed, what we need to do is export our API key. So on the left-hand side here where it says API keys, you just click on that and we're gonna create a new secret key from here. So we're gonna take this and put it into our command prompt. So you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it Autogen Samurai and then click on create secret key. So once you grab your key, you go back to the command prompt and you type in export open AI and all caps underscore API underscore key equals, and then you put your actual key in there like so. So one of the first issues that I ran into was right here when I clicked on enter where it says export is saying that it's not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or bash file. So I did some research. I actually found this website here that kind of walks you step by step through the process. So if export is not recognized as an internal or external command, that occurs when export command on Windows in a command shell. So to solve the error, use the set command to set environment variables. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, he put export here and, and ran into the same issue that I just had. Export is not recognized as internal or external command, operable program or bash file. And so what he did was he put set. So instead of export, he put set. So I'm going to do the same thing and see what happens. So I'm going to take this. I'm just going to copy what I already put there. I'm going to paste that in like so. But instead of export, I'm going to put set. I'm going to change this to set. And let's just see what happens. Click on enter. All right. So it looks like that that worked. So if you run into that issue when it comes to export, go ahead and just change the set. And that should solve that challenge for you. So now that we got that taken care of, what we need to do now is basically just set up Autogen Studio and make sure that you don't have a space in between Autogen and Studio or, or otherwise you're going to run into another error like I did. It's not recognized as an internal or external command. So just make sure that these both are together. Put UI dash dash port 
space 8081 and then click on enter and this is going to set it up for us and give us our url for the ui so as you can see it's starting the server process and it is finished we got the url here so all we got to do is just basically copy this and then open up a browser so this is not to be confused with the chat interface this is basically for just people to go to see models agents and workflows that have been configured in that environment and i'll walk you through that in the third part of this video and i'll go over each one of these different tabs here so this is what it looks like right here this is the build section let me go ahead and scroll in real quick build multi-agent apps create skills agents and workflows for building multi-agent capabilities Autogen Studio UI 2.0 opens up a world of possibilities for creating and managing AI agents and workflows. So let's take a look at the build section. This is the starting point in crafting effective AI solution. So you create a skill, you provide a code for a new skill or create from current conversation. In the build section, you have the opportunity to create new skills. These skills are functions tailored to accomplish specific tasks, forming the backbone of your AI agents capabilities. So imagine you want to create a skill named cat ascii generator this process is about defining what the function does its purpose and how it executes the task it's akin to programming a specific action for your ai agent this creative process is user friendly and intuitive making it accessible so even if you're just starting out with ai so and then you create your agent you got the agent specifications here your agent name the description of the agent how many auto replies this is where you set your consecutive auto replies human input what model you're using and the skills. The agent tab is where you bring your AI agents to life. Here you create as many agents as your project requires, each with unique characteristics and skills. For instance, you might create a sample agent and customize it with a specific model like GPT-4 Turbo. This customization includes defining the agent's behavior, response, and capabilities. Adding skills to your agents is a straightforward process. You choose from skills you created like the cat ASCII generator or use predefined skills available in Autogen Studio. So creating workflows, here we go. Agent specification, the default agent workflow here. Agent specification, you name your workflow here. Then workflow description. Summary defines the method to summarize the conversation. Then you have the user proxy, which is you. And then you got the assistant over here. And then you give the agents their descriptions and how many of the consecutive auto replies. You can make that change here. And then just as before the human input, you can make those adjustments here. The model you're using, in this case, GPT-4 and then you add your skills workflows are the essence of interaction with your ai ecosystem they define how different agents collaborate to perform tasks setting up a workflow involves specifying the interaction patterns between agents for example you might establish a workflow where two agents work together exchanging information and decisions to complete a task the convert the current version of autogen studio allows interactions between two agents but the horizon is broadening with future updates promising more complex interactions the build section is your canvas in Autogen Studio UI 2.0. Here you can experiment, create, and fine tune the elements that make up your AI solution, whether it's crafting intricate skills, bringing diverse agents to life, or orchestrating their interactions. The build section offers a seamless and engaging experience. So this is a lot easier than using Visual Studio as we were doing before. In Autogen Studio UI 2.0, the playground section is where the action happens. It's a space where you get to see your agents and workflows in action. You can interact with them and observe the results of your configurations from your build section. So let's explore how you can make the most of the playground section. Number one, interacting with agent workflows. The core of the playground is interaction. Here you engage with the agent workflows you've defined in the build section. This interaction is not just about executing tasks. It's a dynamic process where you can see how your agents collaborate, use their skills and adapt to the different scenarios. For instance, you might have agents collaborating to do to generate images or compile a PDF document as part of a user task. The playground is where this collaboration comes to life. Number two, running example tasks. The playground is perfect for testing and experimenting. You can run example tasks to see how your agents or workflows perform. Each session in the playground is a continuous interaction or engagement with the agent workflow. It's characterized by a sequence of activities or operations aimed at achieving specific objectives. As you run these tasks, you'll see how the agents interact, how they utilize their skills, and how effectively they accomplish the set objectives. Three, session and chat view. A session in the playground refers to the entire period of interaction with the agent workflow. This includes configuring the workflow, the interaction between you and the agents, and the outcome of these interactions. Within a session, there's also the chat view. This feature allows a sequence of interactions between you and the agent, forming part of the session. It's like having a conversation with your AI agent, guiding it and receiving feedback in real time. 
The playground section in Autogen Studio UI 2.0 is your interactive playground. It's where you put your agents and workflows to test, observe their performance or real scenarios, and refine them based on their outcomes. So you got the gallery section. The gallery section stands out as your personal showcase. It's the space where you can store and revisit your creative endeavors. It's like a digital scrapbook that captures your journey through AI assisted creativity. So let's take a look at what makes the gallery an integral part of the experience. You can save your creative dialogues. So imagine you just had an engaging session where your ideas took shape through AI generated images and text. You don't want these moments to fade into oblivion. So that's where the gallery jumps in by simply clicking the publish icon. You secure your interactions in this digital vault. It's not just about saving, it's about cherishing those sparks of creativity that you ignited during the session. And you can access and review past interactions. The gallery ensures that each published conversation or interaction you save gets neatly tucked away in this section. By navigating to the gallery tab, you are revisiting your past explorations, reviewing what you created, and perhaps finding inspiration for your next project. So it's not just about storage, it's about it's a personal archive of creative milestones. So real quick, if we go back up, and then we scroll down, let me show you exactly what they're talking about. So if we go back to the main user interface here, this is what they're talking about, the gallery right here. So, so you, you'll click on this right here. Now going back down to number six, utilizing the Autogen Studio API. While primarily a web interface boasts a robust and modular Python API that underpins its functionality, this API is a cornerstone for those looking to dive deeper into the programmable aspects of Autogen Studio, offering a more granular level of control over agent workflows. So you got declarative workflow specification. The API allows for agent workflows to be declaratively specified in JSON format. This feature is particularly useful for developers who prefer to define workflows programmatically, giving them the flexibility to customize and automate processes to a greater extent workflow management through the api you can load and run these json defined workflows the process involves creating a workflow configuration from your agent specifications then utilizing the autogen workflow manager to manage and execute these workflows so let's talk about the limitations of autogen studio now while it may be a powerful tool it's important to acknowledge its current limitations and the roadmap for future enhancements complex agent workflows currently autogen studio supports relatively simple agent workflows primarily involving interaction between two agents. However, more sophisticated workflows such as group chats with multiple agents and dynamic topologies are on the horizon. User experience improvements. The platform is continuously evolving to offer a better user experience. Future updates aim to include features like real-time feedback through streaming intermediate model output, better summarization of agent responses, and detailed information on the cost of each interaction. Enhancing agent skills. The development team is focused on improving the workflow for authoring, composing, and reusing agent skills. This is going to enable users to build more complex and varied skills for their agents in the community features. Key goal for Autogen Studio is to foster a sense of community among its users. Future plans include facilitating easier sharing and collaboration within the Autogen Studio user community, including sharing sessions and results and contributing to a shared repository of skills, agents, and workflows. So as Autogen Studio continues to grow and evolve, these enhancements will expand its capabilities, making it an even more powerful and versatile tool for developers and AI enthusiasts. So the conclusion is Autogen Studio stands at the forefront of AI innovation and offers you an accessible yet powerful platform for creating and managing AI agents and workflows. Its user-friendly interface coupled with a robust underlying API provides a unique blend of simplicity and sophistication. So whether you're a beginner or experienced developer, Autogen Studio invites you to dive deeper into the world of AI with ease. So explore its capabilities, experiment with its features, and harness its potential to bring your AI visions to life. So they got some frequently asked questions here. How do I change default skills and configurations in Autogen Studio? Modify agent configurations via the UI, and you can edit this right here for the database in initialization. So they got the frequently asked questions here. I'll leave this in the description so you can go through it yourself step by step. And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoy. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, jonathancoast.com. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. And be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below. I have all of these different websites here from the GitHub slash Microsoft slash Autogen tree where you can get the basic roadmap and then the frequently asked questions. They cover a lot of stuff in here and they continue to update it, but error messages and timeout errors, you can get a lot of answers questions in here. So I'll have that in the resources below and this getting started guide, as well as what to do next, the basic installation and use cases 
for the multi-agent conversation frameworks. Whether you want to have like an authoritarian type setup where you have someone in charge giving out orders or you want to have a democracy group chat setup. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video. See you then.